Hello students, I am Dr. Dehin Bhagat. Today I will start with Microbial Physiology and this video is mainly for your revision purpose, for your examination. So in Microbial Physiology, I am going to discuss about inorganic molecule. Right. So our main focus here is on all kind of inorganic molecules and its metabolism. So our main focus is on the metabolism of inorganic molecules and the pathway by which this all things happen. So if we see the kind of molecules, so sulfur, nitrogen and iron. These are the three main inorganic molecules utilized by variety of prokaryotes. In a general term, they are known as prokaryotes, right? So this prokaryote utilize these inorganic molecules for the generation of energy, metabolism, and very important thing is biosynthesis right so how these molecules are utilized by these prokaryotes for the production of this and this is the very important things and these are the pathways and we on we mainly focus is on this pathway so there are mainly three pathways on which we have to focus the first one is known as assimilatory, assimilatory, assimilatory pathway. Second one is dissimilatory pathway. And the third one is known as oxidative pathways. So here our focus is on these three pathways. We want to understand the differences between these three and what happened in this pathway, right? So, sulfur, nitrogen, iron, manganese is also there. These are the important inorganic molecules as a building block, particularly for the organism. Here, we'll see how this pathway affects the overall physiology of the prokaryote. Assimilation, here what happens, these inorganic compounds are converted into organic ones. Very simple, inorganic, here mainly you have to focus on sulfur as well as nitrogen. So inorganic sulfur or nitrogen compounds, molecules are converted into organic compounds like amino acids or any kind of nucleotide. This conversion is basically known as assimilatory pathway. This pathway for the whole pathway is known as assimilatory pathway where this inorganic molecules are converted into organic molecules. So if, if I'm talking about the sulfur, so that inorganic sulfur is converted into cysteine, cysteine like amino acids and you know that the amino acids are main building block for the protein right so another example for nitrogen very common so cysteine and cysteine and uh, nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation is the another procedure where inorganic nitrogen is converted into the organic matter like amino acids so it is everywhere in all the amino acids. So this is known as assimilatory pathway where this conversion happens. If we see the dissimilatory pathway, so how we focus on dissimilatory pathway, what is the difference between these two? Now let us focus on dissimilatory pathway. What happened in that? So basically here you have to remember one word called anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration now what is anaerobic respiration so let's see here what is respiration so for the respiration purpose any kind of 
to respiration what you need you need electron acceptor so in aerobic oxygen is there or anaerobic respiration that is other than o2 mainly here if we see then we can say the nitrates sulfates right and in some form ferric form manganese mn4 plus so these are the electron acceptors and this leads to this pathway this simulated way pathway right so in general you have to recall this word or just try to remember this word called anaerobic respiration just we'll give you an example facultative anaerobes facultative anaerobes mainly utilize nitrates as electron acceptors and convert this nitrate into and to gas sometimes or in ammonia if you talk about the sulfate in the case of obligate anaerob compulsory they convert sulfates into the sulfides hydrogen sulfide and we all are aware about the lake sediments that are mainly due to this ferrous and mn conversion right and the third one is oxidative one so compounds like h2 ammonia nh3 nitrate elemental sulfur hydrogen sulfide or f2 ferrous all these are utilized means mainly oxidized as a source of electron and energy organism utilize all this substance for the energy and electron requirement so mainly we all are aware about chemolithotrophs right chemolithotrophs means carbon energy everything mainly the main source is from this so these are known as chemolithotrophs if the carbon source is from co2 then which is known as chemo litho auto trots okay so now clear about these three things assimilatory assimilatory mainly conversion of inorganic to organic in dissimilatory that is anaerobic respiration oxidative chemo litho trots so how to remember these three pathway i will give you the short form a d o edo there are three pathways very simply if you see here it is conversion from inorganic to conversion to ino here anaerobic respiration and here it is mainly lithotrophy just this is the short form right inorganic to organic anaerobic respiration and lithotrophy so these are the three main pathway by these three pathways prokaryotes gets electron energy and produce building blocks that is biosynthesis i hope this will be now this is clear for all of you how organism utilize this inorganic molecules for the production of building blocks for the production of energy right so just edo this short form edo so in a conversion of inorganic to organic anaerobic respiration and the lithotrophy i hope this introductory part all this is nothing but just introduction to this physiology right so after this introduction now this is the introduction after this introduction we'll focus on this assimilatory we focus on the disassimilatory and the oxidative one in depth so next lecture is on assimilatory pathway for the nitrates so i hope this is now clear for all of you thank you so much so like share and subscribe my channel and this video
Thank you so much. Very soon I will be there with the another topic that is on the assimilatory uh, pathway. Thank you so much. Thank you.